Devin, first off, admittedly, it's a little weird uh, seeing you wearing a San Jose State football uh, polo shirt. How, is, is this weird for you as it is maybe for us? I mean, uh, it was weird at first, but I'm not used to it. It's definitely going to be weird when I play away the last game. Uh, finally, they get to top me instead of tag me. It's going to be it's gonna be weird seeing my, my ex teammates, my ex brothers uh, on the other side of the ball, but yeah, it's good. I think you'll also you'll always be part of the brother no matter what. Uh, we understand why you had to go, uh, but I know it, it left a taste, a sour taste in my eyes. Maybe 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 not for as many as you would think, uh, because a lot of people supported you. That decision is very hard. Oh yes, of course. You can ask my friends. Uh, they did see me. It was very difficult. But the situation I was in. It was just a very difficult time. I was in the middle of the game. Yeah. And no pressure with the Sands and State officials sitting next to me, but I'm going to ask you anyway. At one point, it was rumored that there was a possibility that you and a couple of your other teammates, uh, Martin, could potentially port the portal back and fire the leaders of the dark universities. Was that ever something that you considered? No. Uh, once I committed to so I so was what the Jazz so might be doing right now if they trade Donovan and they tear everything down and they uh, essentially uh, take uh, yeah, I heard is there, we know a lot of teams that are trying to do it. Has anybody really, really, truly been successful? I mean, you, you see Philadelphia in the trust process, and, and they're a good so team. Really they're good team. Really I also think, though, that there, there, there might have been, been a lot of because there are no other teams that have done it. And that might have been a factor into some people thinking that they have a possibility. No, I can see that, yeah. Of course, he was a good coach. But yeah, I just I just wasn't really thinking that I didn't yeah. try to. I was just really focused on something else. Trying to get better. And I think you've done a pretty good job running to your coach, uh, Coach Brennan. He said that you had fallen into the right spot, that you have actually uh, you've actually kind of settled in to your new home and have done a good job. He checks in on you. How you doing mentally? How you doing in school? Nice to know that he that he cares that much about you know, and, and really wanted you to come over. Yeah, that, I mean that's that's why I come into San Jose State. I knew how Coach Man was. I knew he was a player's coach. Kind of how Coach Will I mean, kind of reminded me of him. And, and you know, it's really fun to be around the, the coaching staff, the teammates, Coach Man. Uh, pretty much in mean, the facility, twenty four seven. It's pretty. It's pretty much different from what I've been in UH. I feel like this is the hardest I've heard. From what I'm hearing, it sounds like you don't regret your decision at all. I mean, I don't. I mean, that's the whole point. I mean, if I regret it, then I mean, I wouldn't have a good Probably wouldn't have a good season. So, I mean, I'm just trying to have fun as much as I can. And, uh, I mean, I don't regret it. What does a quarterback in that situation look like at San Uh So, Nick Stark graduated and uh, started to go with all the grabs. Nick Nash, uh, and, uh, and I don't know last year. a couple other guys, but I mean, I've been competing with Nick Nash, so he's getting he's been getting better. I love the team with each other. We're talking with Chevin Cordero, San Jose State quarterback, uh, here for Mountain West Media Days. Um, how how are you enjoying that competition? I mean, I, I know you you thrive on that competition, but you and Nick Nash are almost entirely two different quarterbacks in a way. So, I, you know, how how has that competition been really? I mean, it's been good. Uh, like you said, I'm not scared to compete. Uh, I competed in high school. I competed in uh, college at UH or college. Uh, you know, it's not the same. Uh, yeah, it is the same actually. Uh, Nick, uh, he's a good quarterback. Uh, he's athletic. He's very big. Uh, He's, he's really getting me better. You guys are uh, looking forward to getting that whole thing started. I know you said that it's not you know, it's up for grabs. That means there's a lot of work to be done in Paul Hill. Well, yeah. I mean, and I didn't want to go to a program where the starting job was kind of I wanted to work for the top 12 cap. 
compete every day, get my 100, uh, work film, ask a lot of questions, uh, just become a better quarterback and uh, get ready for the season. It's funny because you walked by Steven's side, the reporter at the Star Alley, and I was it's like Shepard grew. Did you grow? I don't know. Well, yeah, he's been saying that, and then, I don't know. He, he's been asking you, yeah? Yeah, a lot of people said that too. I, mean, I hope so. You that or you just wearing insole lifts. <laughs> <laughs> <Shoes. laughs> uh, good stuff. Thanks for stopping by. We really appreciate it. Good luck this season. We're always cheering for the local boys that go away, uh, even though it, it, it's, it is going to be a little weird for a lot of people seeing you in the San Jose jersey. I think a lot of people have already kind of felt that way. Yeah. It's just weird to see you in pictures, but you know, of course, want you to do uh, your best and good luck to you, except uh, Thanksgiving weekend. That's, I guess that's the biggest thing, right? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Jim.